the title of my presentation today is Potential Application of Terahertz Technology in Poland County. My name is Wang Ying. I'm a PhD student from Spectroscopy Group. Uh, today's presentation will be given as the following three main parts. The first part is polynosis. In this part, I will introduce some background knowledge about polynosis. Uh, for example, what is polynosis and what's the me mechanism behind polynosis? After this part, I will introduce some methods that have been studied for polling counting. And in the last part, I will introduce uh, some ideas about potential usage of uh, terahertz technology in Poland County. Uh, to most of people, spring is a nice and amazing season that represents hope and uh, vitality. But to some people, uh, the world in their eyes is less beautiful and romantic as it should be because they need to pack a lot of tissues for the runny nose and uh, endure the itchy, itchy feelings of their watery eyes all the time. That's the typical symptom of uh, polynosis. Polynosis is an allergic reaction to pollen grains that uh, uh, emitted from grasses, trees, and flowers. Uh, usually, urban pollen grains invade human body through uh, iris of uh, uh, through iris, um, uh, for example, nose, eyes, and mouth. On contact with the mucus of iris, the soluble allergen will be eluted from pollen and diffused into mucous membrane to trigger the allergic reaction. Actually, the pollen itself is harmless to human health, but our immune system misjudges it as a threat and uh, takes a complex set of actions to defend it. Uh, when, first time, when pollen energy enters the human body for the first time, uh, it stimulates the human body to produce IgE antibody. IgE antibody will attach to the pollen energy to neutralize it. Uh, when the, next time, uh, the, the next time when the same variety of pollen grains invade the human body, uh, our immune system will produce a large amount of IgE antibodies. These Ig antibodies attached to the pollen energy will circulate throughout the bloodstream to a certain type of cells that uh, can that contain many chemicals that uh, can cause inflammation. That's the mechanism behind polynosis. Because polynosis is difficult to completely completely cured, uh, the pollen for for casting is very important for allergy patients. In Japan, more than one quarter of the population is allergic to Japanese symptom pollen. And uh, in order to help uh, allergy patients to develop uh, more effective uh, avoidance measures and um, uh, promote, uh, promote better management, management of pollinosis symptoms, pollen report is really is uh, usually given on the weather forecasting website based on daily pollen counts. Until now, the most widely used uh, pollen counting method is based on morphological characteristics of pollen grains. Researchers need to distinguish target uh, pollen spaces and count them under microscope. Um, pollen, sample, pollen samplers are usually collected by durum sampler, on which a glass slide coated with adhesive vaseline is fixed. Microscopic examination is performed after staining the pollen grains uh, by some chemical dyes. This is a mainly used uh, method, but um, it, uh, the process strongly depends on the observer's subjective judgment, and the process is time-consuming and uh, labor-intensive. A newly, uh, a newly developed pollen counting method is called as a hologram immunoacid. Immuno acid, which is based on the specific binding between antigen and antibody. In this method, an adhesive tab is used to collect the sample pollens in the air. Then, protein binding membrane will be eliminated to the type to confirm a sandwich construction. Then, add some illusion buffer to the pollen to uh, ex extract the pollen allergen. Uh, after ex uh, after extraction, the protein binding membrane will be blocked uh, to prevent uh, binding between antibodies and uh, weakened protein binding sites on the membrane. 
that first antibody will be used to recognize polar antigen, and the second antibody with the label will be used uh, later to uh, detect the first antibody. So after adding some staining agent, uh, hollow around the pollen can be seen for number counting. Although this method avoids the tedious uh, pollen spaces discrimination work, but the counting process still need to be conducted uh, by uh, under microscope. So I was wondering if we can establish a correlation model between pollen number and some indexes that are convenient to obtain. Uh, this is more efficient uh, to monitor the pollen distribution in the air. So my research goal is to find a fast, uh, simple method for pollen counting. Uh, because terahertz may correspond to intermolecular vibration, so it, uh, it has the potential for detecting binding between polar energy and antibody. Uh, moreover, terahertz wavelength is comparative to the pollen size, so pollen number change might be reflected by spectral variation. For example, the transmittance of metallic mesh uh, is distinguished by its deep configuration and uh, uh, the deep frequency is very sensitive to the uh, refractive index on the uh, refractive index of material on the metallic mesh surface. So in the ideal situation, uh, before and after different quantity of pollen add, added to the metallic mesh, the corresponding deep frequency shift uh, should be observed. Then based on the inter, uh, then based on the correlation model between pollen number and uh, frequency shift, uh, a fast, simple pollen counting process should be realized. So based on this hypothesis, I choose Japanese center pollen as my research object. Japanese center pollen is a major cause of pollinosis in Japan. Uh, as it is shown in this picture, uh, Japanese center pollen has an almost a spherical appearance with a small tip, and its diameter is around 30 micrometer. And on the surface of Japanese center pollen, there are many small particles called ubish bodies, and the major allergen of Japanese center pollen is inside of, the, of, uh, of these small particles. Because my research is uh, my research objective is to realize the pollen counting and the detection process is based on the allergen and antibody interaction. So there are two basic uh, questions that I need to make clear of. First is whether there is enough attachment strength between pollen grains and uh, rubbish bodies. And the other is whether there is enough bending strength bending strength between allergen and antibody. These two conditions uh, directly decide whether the huge, relatively huge pollen can be captured by the antibody. Uh, and the simplest way to uh, make sure about that is to directly observe the possible phenomena under microscope. So firstly, I will fix antibody on some linker layer, and after some steps, add um, pollen solution on the link layer and um, directly observe the phenomena under microscope. Uh, if the whole pollen can be successfully captured by the antibody, the future re research work is possible. Um, but before the observation, I need to find a way to fix the antibody on link layer and to find a, a pollen solution that can realize allergen extraction without uh, totally destroy the pollen grain. So the next step I will do is to make clear about antibody fix methods, get familiar with the device op uh, operation and the chemical solution preparation. That's all for my today's presentation. Thank you very much for your listening.